WestJet Flight 2555 made its inaugural visit to the Twin Island State today. As one of the largest carriers in North America, WestJet flies more than 420 flights daily across Canada, the Americas and the Caribbean. The addition of this new service comes after months of negotiations and the shared interests of the Antiguan Barbuda Tourism Authority and Wet's Jets Canadian base. Ilsa Graham witnessed the official welcoming ceremony at the VC Bird International Airport. At the nation's sole international airport. As the flight landed, the welcoming party laid out the red carpet as onlookers got their first opportunity to see Captain John Bertrand and First Officer Jim Kruger appear to be followed by passengers in the business class. Members of the welcoming party participated in a ribbon cutting ceremony signaling the airline's first touchdown in the island. It says a lot in terms of what we're seeking to do and certainly with WestJet being on board now, it transforms the destination in a way because it, 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 it brings to the fore, especially from that area of North America, uh, tremendous potential for growth. And airlift is always extremely important, not only for the airline itself, but for the destination. And so this can be a win-win situation. Minister of Tourism and Civil Aviation, John McGinley, agrees. Our goal now is to make this winter time, these two flights in the winter work, um, and hopefully we can encourage WestJet to fly in the summertime, and next year we look for four flights during the winter time. That's our goal. So, again, thank you very much. Uh, it's been a pleasure so far working with WestJet and all its uh, officials. WestJet is now at, uh, in fact, having now just taken another aircraft, we're at number 99 and number 100 will arrive uh, in December of this year, all the way through to another 36 737 to arrive between now and 2018. So there are many more aircraft to come in the future and certainly hope that this is, in fact, a wonderful and beautiful relationship that will endure for many years to come. Also addressing the ceremony was Chief Executive Officer of the Antigua Barbuda Tourism Authority, Colin James, Chairman of the Antigua Barbuda Airport Authority, Captain Patrick Ryan, Director of Tourism in the Canadian Office, Erica Henry Jackman, and Chairman of the Antigua Barbuda Tourism Authority, Ted Isaac. Following the speeches, Prime Minister Spencer raised a toast to the long-lasting and fruitful relationship between WestJet and the Twin Island State. Antigua and Barbuda is the airline's 81st destination. For ABS News, Elisa Graham reporting.